Hernia is described as a protrusion of an organ beyond the cavity which normally contains it. Such condition can also involve discs in the spine. A spinal disc serves as a cushion between the two vertebrae. When the outer part of a disc degenerates, the inner part can rupture or bulge. This bulging is called a herniated disc. In many cases, herniated discs recover without any intervention or through medical treatment. If non-surgical treatments haven't improved the condition of the disc after six weeks, surgery can be done. Diagnostic testing results must also support that the herniated disc is treatable with surgery. The different types of surgeries for a herniated disc are open disectomy, endoscopic microdisectomy, percutaneous disectomy, laminotomy and laminectomy. In open disectomy, the herniating content that presses the nerve or the spine is removed. Other oppressing factors such as spinal stenosis are also managed. This procedure is considered as the most effective type of surgery for a herniated disc. Under general anesthesia, a small incision is made over the center or right of the back where the herniated disc is located. Once the herniating part has been removed and pressure is relieved from the nerves, the incision will be closed. The endoscopic microdisectomy is a type of surgical procedure for a herniated disc, like an open disectomy. But a smaller incision and an endoscope or microscope is used. Instead of cutting through the muscles and tissues, they are just separated to allow the passage of the endoscope. In the spine, the same procedure is used as in open disectomy, but due to limited space, such technique can't be used in everyone. Percutaneous disectomy treats a herniated disc by reducing the size of the herniation. In this surgery, a special tool is used to remove the herniating disc tissue by heating or scraping it. It is considered less effective than open disectomy and can't be performed in all patients. Laminotomy and laminectomy are types of surgeries for a herniated disc that are done to relieve the pressure over the spinal cord or nerve root. These options are executed in very large herniated discs or spinal stenosis, for example due to arthrosis. In laminotomy, a part of the lamina is removed. The lamina is a thin part of the vertebra that encloses the spinal cord. In laminectomy, the entire lamina of the affected vertebra will be removed along with some thickened tissue. You are advised to contact your treating physician for more information about the disorder and treatment options.